Twitch streamer Atrioc has now returned to the space six months after the instance and the drama which broke out around him, which was, it was certainly a weird instance. All right, can't forget about that. Certainly a weird instance as he was exposed for watching the deep fake adult content of a fellow streamer and or streamers. And it was, uh, it was a pretty weird time in the space as we watched a streamer admit to all of this and uh, even had his partner come on with the apology. And a lot of course, streamers and other content creators reacting to this and this, this odd behavior. He has now returned six months later though, with still an explanation of where the situation has actually come to. And then fucking at 2 a.m., you know, I've been, I've been watching so much fucking, I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff. I'm reading all this fucking stuff about AI and, and, uh, and fucking defect music, defect art and everything. And I'm in these fucking discords and I was, I just feel so embarrassing to me. But I was on fucking Pornhub, dude. I was on a fucking regular ass normal fucking website and there was an ad. There's an ad on every fucking video for this fucking... So I know other people must be clicking it because it's on every fucking video. And although the original instance is quite odd throughout all of this, I will say when it comes to his response and what he has done in the last six months, it's not only intriguing and insightful on what the issues are that a lot of these creators and streamers go through with these deep fakes, along with these subreddits and all of these websites that try and fake this disgusting material about them, uh, beyond that, though, the amount of money it actually takes for these streamers to try and take this stuff down, which is faked content of themselves. Uh, the full-fledged thing went with all the other creators because we expanded this to uh, a lot of women. Uh, my goal at the end of this uh, time period, this six-month period, was uh, to spend my budget, which was $100,000. And that's a significant amount of my savings. I know that um, creators throwing money at stuff is not... Uh, not not always an apology, and I totally get that. I, I, I chose an amount that was like a serious amount, uh, impactful amount to my savings, and uh, I chose to commit time and effort to it as well. I, I didn't just want to have money, but I set the hundred dollar budget. We ended up spending about 122,000, a little bit over that. And my goal was to get 100,000 things taken down. That was my big dream, which was a massive number when we first started, because to do that with the, the lawyer method would have taken uh, more money than anyone I know has. Uh, I mean, that, that it would have taken millions. And we only had $100,000 to do it. Uh, well, we didn't hit that number. Uh, we smashed it. <laughs> uh, I'm super, super proud to say that uh, as of, you know, this, this as of July 9th, uh, we got 193,000 things uh, taken down uh, and, and 400,000 DMCA requests submitted. So just, I mean, this would have cost $9 million I think is our estimate based on, on the previous method. As Atriot goes on to explain, he has now actually taken down successfully, he and his team, he has employed throughout all of this, over 200,000 pieces of content. This faked content or this, uh, this odd content on the internet, over 200,000 pieces have now been taken down in six months, doubling their original goal, whilst also spending over $120,000 out of his own pocket, which all in all, you know, this this certainly was again. It was a it was a weird situation. It was it was kind of sad to see, but with a response like this, dedicating six months to really not being around and now spending over six figures just to get this done, it actually is quite impressive. It's also very sad to realize there is so much of this content out there with a lot of people abusing it to try and make money for themselves. A few days, and we hit a pretty big milestone, uh, which is this. 200,000 delistings, which is double the initial uh, goal. And if you look at this column, uh, these are all the women uh, signed up uh, with Caritas. Obviously, name's hidden. Uh, but this column is the estimated cost if they had used traditional legal takedown methods. Um, and that adds up to 8.66 million across all the people we've signed up uh, for an investment of under 100K to get that much taken down, which is which is really cool. Um, again, that's their number. Take it with a grain of salt, but it's it's ballpark based on what I saw when we paid for the law firm in February and March. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, the second thing I want to include before I end this video is is this. Uh, and this is not really that important, uh, but it's for my own mental health. And this is basically uh, in March, we tracked down Veritel, the company behind the site that I looked at. And they confirmed the first, last, and only time that I ever looked at that website was the 26th of January at 1.43 a.m., the day that that clip leaked and started all this off. Now, I want to be super clear, which is that this changes nothing in terms of the damage done or the stupidity I feel and have felt for six months uh, or the embarrassment. I, 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 
sorry, I'm not even looking at the camera. I, I feel super shitty about it. Uh, and I have, and I think about it a lot, and I I just want to hit myself sometimes. I just feel fucking so dumb. Um, but that doesn't solve anything. And so what I've been trying to do, you know, with this tornado that I caused is just not look at the whole mess and just look at brick by brick and see if I can uh, do some good and rebuild some things. So that's what I've tried to do. And so they also reached out and said, any streamer, any creator, anyone out there struggling with these deep fakes or this fake content of yourselves, you can actually reach out to us directly and we will try and help with this new DMCA takedown system. Rather than going through this expensive, expensive legal system, finding a new way to actually take down all of this content out there. And yeah, this was, it was actually pretty cool to see the dedication of time, energy, effort, and money that he has gone through to correct the problem that he was a spark for, you know, of realizing how big of an issue this was. And so they were going after all online content, also subreddits as well. What we've seen so far overwhelmingly, at least in the likes and comments, have been a great response to his return after dedicating six months to not just an apology, but also an action. And I, I think that's spoken quite loudly out there. I am curious how his return will go down. You know, Twitch chat can be a bit a bit crazy around these situations. And of course, when it comes to interacting with other streamers and creators who know of the original accusations, which stemmed from six months ago. So what do you guys think about Atriox return? But a great update on the situation of these deep fake content uh, people online. So much material has now been taken down. What's scary to think about how much other material is out there and how expensive it will be for anyone who, to do this by themselves it's nearly impossible. And that's the part that sucks about pretty much all of this. So till next time, what do you guys think about this? Drink up, all right? See you back here sometime soon.